Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. So one of the comments I hear the most on our YouTube channel is when we go hunting, especially for prairie dogs, is to watch for fleas and the plague. But what you guys don't see in the background is we also hunt like that. We get all dressed up in Tyvek and our safety gear and we wear gloves and we're out in the fields, it doesn't matter if it's 85 degrees, it doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees. We hunt like this, so these fleas that carry the plague do not penetrate any of our, our stuff and give us any kind of bites where we would get the plague. So I challenge you guys, get out there, get yourself a Tyvek suit, get out there in the prairie dog pastures when it's about 100 degrees and go hunting, shoot up those prairie dogs and collect them all and take some good pictures and post them up for everybody. Thanks. See you over at varmature.com. Hey everybody, this is Eric from varmature.com. Well, as you probably figured out, we don't really hunt like that. But I did want to go through some steps of what we do to avoid um, getting bit by fleas. First is tall boots over two pairs of decent socks. Yes, I wear two pairs of socks even when it's hot. These boots are pretty light and they keep my feet cool, so it's not really an issue. Next is leather suede gloves, good quality and sealed. I use when I pick up the varmints, the mechanics gloves. Those help a lot and there's no way anything can get in through those. Next is high, deep percentage insect repellent. You spray that on your boots and your jeans and wipe it on your wrists and your arms. Step four is shoot off a bench or other rest. Don't lay prone in areas that may host fleas. You will get them on you. You won't be able to be protected at that point. Step five is bag your hunting clothes and spray some repellent in the bag. Tie it up and wash it separately when you get home. And step six is treat your hunting clothing with permethrin before your next hunt. Follow all the guidelines because there is some warning, but once it is sprayed on and dries, it's odorless and safe for humans. My final thoughts are just use common sense. When you field dress animals that you plan on eating, wear rubber gloves or vinyl gloves, even when you're skinning coyotes bobcats, things like that. And if you have any concerns about picking up your varmints, then just don't. You don't have to. These are just some of the things that I do to prevent getting any kind of diseases or anything. If you click the logo below, that'll head over to the full write-up on this where I have a little bit more information, some information from the CDC as well. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it down below and comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of stuff that we'll be rolling out here in the next few months coming up to SHOT Show 2016. And I'm sure you guys will want to see it. Okay, thanks a lot. And we'll see you over at varmature.com.